minutes on the day that 563 people died. The BBC newsreader's face was incredulous. The government, Boris Johnson, Gove, or at their press conferences, <laughs> useless. They, they promised tens of thousands of ventilators. And she was there, she was saying, I've just got to double check this, but it's being confirmed by number 10 that 30, 30 are going to be available this weekend. Look, here he is yesterday. We've got a massively ramp up. What? Fuck over the clown, leader of the Corona shambles. The spectacle, the circus of oblivion. That's collapsed. That's failed all of us, especially nurses and doctors. Look at it, shambles. Two more, two more medics die. 0.16 NHS workers tested. Not even 1%. 0.16. That's pathetic. It's not, it's reckless. Dereliction of duty. Why hasn't Boris Johnson resigned? Look, the Mail, the Times, the Tory Graph suddenly realise that they've made a terrible mistake. And we have a moron in charge, a dangerous, clueless clown. Fuck out a clown. Let's all get the virus plan. Herd immunity. No testing, no ventilators. The Tories were awarded a ferry contract last year. <laughs> awarded a ferry contract to a company that had no ferries. It's a terrible mistake. 30 ventilators. How are they going to decide who gets one? A raffle. Storm the gates. We're going to ramp it up. 30. Who's making the fucko's dad, Stanley, in his shed? Anyone who right now doesn't understand that Boris Johnson is not fit and has failed and, and will lead this country to a disaster is as dangerous as him.